Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm having trouble with my temperature gauge on my 2009 Honda Civic. I've already checked my coolant level and it's full. I've also checked for air bubbles in the system and we're all good. I felt the hoses when it says it's running really hot and I can still touch them so I know the car isn't running hot. In today's video, I'll be using the Anova 5610 to diagnose this problem. I've used this in a couple of other videos and I'll link them in the description. But on this video, I'll be using the 5610. I'll be using a multimeter and some connectors. And I'll put links to all this in the description. Let's get started and check this out. All right, so I just got back from a 10 minute ride. If you can look at my gauge right here, it's a little over three quarters and I don't think it's actually running hot. I'm gonna plug in my scan tool. So what I'm using is the ANOVA 5610 and I've had good luck with this. So that's why I'm using this one today and I've used it in a couple of other videos. I'll link those in the description. And then let's just skip here. And then so it says I have no powertrain DTCs. So I'm just going to go to live data and see what it's happening there. So if I come over here to the engine coolant temperature sensor, it actually says it's running at 244 degrees. So let me go make some checks. If you made it this far in the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Next, I'm going to check the fans. So this is a bi-directional scan tool, meaning that it can turn on and off components. Right now, I'm in active tests. So from active tests, I need to test the fans. Let's say yes. There we go. One more time. And then if I go two down, there's radiator fans. Next, this will actually test the fans. Let it catch up. Oh, gotta go up. Next, I'm going to check the engine coolant temperature sensor. So my Civic has two coolant temperature sensors. I have coolant temperature sensor number one, that's at the top. And at the bottom is coolant temperature sensor number two. And this one controls the fans coming on and off. Now, this one controls the air fuel ratio. And yes, you guessed it, the temperature gauge. So we're going to do a couple of checks on this coolant temperature sensor. And let's see what we can find out on this. So down here is the coolant temperature sensor right here. And then this is the connector I removed. And I probed the five volt reference signal and the ground. So how the coolant temperature sensor works is the computer sends a five volt signal into this connector. And it actually goes through the coolant temperature sensor which is a thermistor and then comes back out so as the car heats up the voltage decreases and that shows you what temperature you have so the only thing I'm interested in right now is the computer is sending that 5 volt signal and ground so when I turn on the key I'm looking for a 5 volt signal here so let me get that key on and let's see if I have five volts. If I didn't have five volts, then I would know that's my problem, the computer. But as I see right here, I do have five volts. And because I'm hooked to this ground, which goes back, I know that's good. So I'm pretty sure my sensor is bad. So let me go ahead and order a sensor and put that in and see if that fixes it. It's been a couple days since I last worked on the car. I've been really sick. You can probably tell by my voice, but I've got the new coolant temperature sensor in. I didn't film that because I was just too sick and I needed to get this car back on the road. 
um, but let me show you how it's running it's been running for about 15 minutes and if I just go skip there's no DTC's and if I go to live data down here if I go to my coolant temperature sensor right here it's at 172 degrees so normally that would have been 240 250 degrees and if you look at my gauge now my gauge is right where it should be I want to show you with a good sensor in here what the readings would be so I've got my new sensor in and I've got my back probe on the 5 volt reference signal and right now it's going through the thermistor and as the resistance in the thermistor increases the voltage on my meter will decrease so right now if you look at my meter it says 3.28 and if you look at my scan tool it's 64 degrees so as 64 degrees becomes higher and higher that 3.28 voltage will decrease so I'm gonna turn on the engine and heat it up and we're gonna watch the decrease and it should decrease nice and smooth Look at the scan tool and you'll see the temperature rising as the voltage on the meter decreases. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I have another video that I'll link in the description and this goes over sensor two. They work exactly the same, but the other video shows a lot more detail. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't wanna...